Okay, so for this video, we're going to discuss the special differentiation rules uh, that some of you may learn it before already one, which is the product and also the quotient rule. All right, okay, so uh, again, the learning outcome for this video will be you have to know like, how to differentiate the products and also the quotients. Uh, okay, said so, uh, for now, right, until now, we already learned how to differentiate all the basic type of functions that included in our syllabus. Okay, but um, sometimes or most of the times, uh, usually they will actually try to um, combine, all right, they will multiply two functions together or maybe they will uh, divide the two functions from each other. Okay, so when you have this kind of question, right, then you generally need to use the product rule or maybe the quotient rule to find the differentiation. Okay, so when do we need to use the product rule and when do we need to use the quotient rule? So generally it's like that. I will tell students usually, if your equation can be written as y equals to a bracket multiplied with another bracket. So these two brackets might have different types of function or maybe they are having the same type of function but they are polynomials, different polynomials. Okay, so when you have this kind of pattern, then generally you can use the product rule to um, apply the differentiation. And usually we'll treat the first bracket as u, the second bracket as the v. If you look at the uh, how to say, if you look at the rules here, it is u multiplied with dv dx plus v multiplied with du dx. So if you look at what we have here, that means uh, if you remember the process, uh, it should be copy the first bracket, u is first bracket, right? So copy the first bracket, differentiate the second, plus copy the second bracket, differentiate the first. All right, so this is generally a, a rule for the product rule uh, that you can remember. All right, and then after that, when you're having a quotient rule, so quotient rule means that you're having y equals to a fraction. So the fraction is you can rephrase it, u on top as a bracket and then v at the bottom as a bracket. So you apply the quotient rule for this case. So what is the quotient rule that we have? Okay, so generally you square the bottom, copy the bottom, differentiate the top, and then minus, copy the top, differentiate the bottom. Copy the top, differentiate the bottom means that you copy the top bracket, you differentiate the bottom bracket. Okay, so that's one thing that you need to take note here, which is this one. This should be a negative sign. And you must always copy the bottom first, differentiate the top first. You cannot change the sequence. Understand why I said not? So you cannot tell me that, oh, I, I copy the top first, differentiate the bottom first. Cannot. You have to copy the bottom, differentiate the top first, then minus, copy the top differentiate the bottom. Okay, so uh, I believe that most of you actually learned this rule before. Okay, but again, eh, to make sure that you are very familiar with the rule, rules, you have to really practice that again. Practice more, then you will be more familiar with all the rules and also the, the, the small details huh, when you want to apply all the rules here. Okay, huh? so example 10. Okay, there are a lot of uh, questions that Okay, involve all the basic function that you learn in this chapter or maybe in earlier. All right, so no matter how, uh, maybe we can select a few and discuss together. Then after that, you need to try the rest on your own. Okay, so maybe for me, what I will want to discuss with you is maybe we can discuss part E. Honey is quite complicated. Okay, I will discuss D and E with you. Okay, then later also I will discuss part J with you. All right, and then we choose another one which is L. So I will discuss these four, part, four parts with you. Then the rest you try to figure out the answer yourself. All right, okay, so D, E, J, and L. Okay, let us start with part D. Okay, let's say y is the equation with x power 3 sine 2x, let's say. So if I want you to find out the dy dx, so how can you do that? Okay, so again, if you look at the bracket, uh, look at the equation yourself, uh, you should know that this is the first bracket. x power 3 is the first bracket, sine 2x is the second bracket. So please bear this in your mind, you have to identify the pattern yourself. Okay, so you should apply the product rule here. So x power 3 is the first bracket. This one is the second bracket. So what is the rule that we apply for the product rule? Okay, copy the first, 
differentiate the second. So when you differentiate two, sine 2x, two you'll get 2 cos 2x. Two so for all the basic differentiation uh, for now, uh, you have to be very familiar. If not, uh, then you'll feel very confused later. Okay, so this is what we do. Uh. Differentiate sine 2x, you'll get 2 cos 2x, two then plus. Just now you copy the first, differentiate the second, right? So now you copy the second bracket, differentiate the first. So when you differentiate the first one, you have, you have 3x squared. So you just write it in a better way. Uh. So 2x power 3 cos 2x plus 3x squared sine 2x. You no need to purposely go and simplify it because the question didn't ask you to do so. So after you do the basic differentiation by applying the rule, then you can just leave it there. Unless in the question they ask you to rephrase it into a certain pattern, that only you try to rephrase it according to the requirement of the question. All right? So for party, we no need to do anything because they didn't ask you to rephrase it anything. So this is the answer that I will just give it like this. Okay, All right, then now, next one. Let's continue to part E. So for part E, I will let y equals to sine power 5x. Okay, then cos power 3, 2x. Okay, so again, maybe for this one, I will want to be right, it becomes sine x power 5, and then cos 2x power 3. Again, first bracket will be sine x power 5, this whole thing. Then the second bracket will be cos 2x power 3, the whole thing here. All right, so let us start with the differentiation now. Okay, so what do we have for dy dx? So again, you copy the first bracket. So copy the first bracket means sine x power 5. Differentiate the second bracket. So differentiate cos 2x power 3, right? You pull the power 3 in front. Copy the bracket power minus 1. Then you need to differentiate the thing inside the bracket. If you differentiate the cos 2x, you will get negative 2 sine 2x. So again, as what I mentioned just now, you have to make sure that you are very clear about the basic differentiation for all the functions. Okay, so once you did this already, that's why you copy the first bracket, differentiate the second bracket, right? So now you plus. You do the other way around, you copy the second bracket and you differentiate the first. Differentiate this, you have 5 sine x power 4 and then differentiate sine x, you have cos x. Alright, okay, so you can see that the process is the same. So what am I going to do now is I just want to try to make my answer look Better. So I'm having negative 6, okay, then sine power 5x, sine 2x, then cos power 2, 2x, then plus, okay, I'm having 5, then sine power 4x, cos x, then cos power 3, 2x. So please take note that the cos x, cos power 2x, uh, cos power 3, 2x, all those things, right? You actually cannot further simplify it. Alright, so this is how your answer look like. Okay, I just try to rephrase it in a better way only. In a, in a neater way. Like. It, at least it looks neat. Okay? Alright, so this is what we have for part E. Okay, huh? so make sure that you know like, the the process okay of the product rule using the uh find the differentiation by using the product rule okay then let's continue with part j okay so for part j what they want they want us to do the differentiation for a fraction like this okay so i will treat y y equals to tangent x divided by x okay so to find out the dy dx what you need to do Okay, so first of all, you need to square the bottom. So square bottom, you have x square. Okay, then after that, you copy the bottom. So copy the bottom means x, la, the original bottom. La. The original bottom is x. La. So copy the bottom, differentiate the top. So when you differentiate the top, differentiate tangent, you have secant square. Then minus, now you copy the top, 
differentiate the bottom. So differentiate the bottom, you have 1. Because differentiate x, you get 1, right? Then just put it in a nicer way. Lah. No need to purposely go and simplify or whatsoever. So you just keep it like this. Okay, so this will be the answer for part J. Okay, all right. So maybe I don't want to discuss part L. Like I discuss part M with you so that it is a fraction again. Okay, so I will discuss part M with you. Okay, so it is another fraction. Therefore, we should expect that we are, we are going to use the quotient rule another time. All right, so I'm having tangent inverse x divided by x. Okay, so to find out the dy dx, what should I do? Okay, so to find the dy dx, you square bottom. So square the bottom, you're having x squared. Uh. Copy the bottom, which is x. Differentiate the top. So differentiate tangent inverse, I'm having 1 over x squared plus 1. Okay, then minus. Now you copy the top. Differentiate the bottom. So differentiate the bottom, you have the 1. So I will just keep my answer like this. Uh, unless they ask us to further simplify it. If not, I will just leave my answer like that. Okay? Alright, so this is what you have by applying the product and also the quotient rule. Nothing special, just that maybe the process become a bit more complicated for me. Alright, so uh, for the rest of the part, please make sure that you complete it yourself. I will give you the final answer. Okay, then you just double check with the final answer. Lah. Okay, so um, when I write my final answer in this particular pattern, right, you just try to follow and see how can, uh, can you get the answer that I shown here. Alright, so maybe some I will, some I will not expand, but the exam no need to worry. Alright, but for now when I give you the answer, right, you have to think lah, how can you continue with your solution to get the answer that I want. Alright. Okay, so for first part, I will want you to expand your answer. It will become something like this. Okay, then for part B, this is the answer that I want. Okay, so maybe at the same time now you can try on your own. Later, when I finish copying the answer, then you only check. Okay, part C. Part D. Okay, so part E we discussed just now. Then part F. All right, then part G. H. I. J. We discussed J just now, right? Okay, so I think we discussed J just now, so which I will not write out the answer. K. So for K, I will have um, something like this. Uh. K 
okay then l And then part M, we discussed it just now. All right, so this is the answer for the rest of the example that you have to try on your own. Okay, make sure you are very familiar with all the basic differentiation for a basic function. And of course, also you need to know how to apply the rules. Huh? Okay, so all these are basic ex examples to make sure that you know how to apply the product and also the quotient rule. Okay, so for the next video, we are going to discuss huh, um, the application question for this part like maybe they want you to find a maximum point minimum point or equation or tangent whatsoever by having the by using the quotient and also the uh, and also the quotient root product and also the quotient root okay so we'll discuss all those in the next video then